All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So I finally got my laptop in. I was already Best Buy playing with a bunch of laptops. Two in one is what I was looking for based on my current selection of laptops. I have two laptops. They're both Acer. One's a Chromebook and one's my gaming laptop. So I wanted something that would be a little bit more compact. So I recently sold my, uh, in the last three to six months ago, I think I sold my, my, my last MacBook Pro. And I wanted something that's gonna be a little bit more compact, but also light on the pocket. And in reality, the MacBook Pros are nice. I would recommend them to a lot of people. But in my situation, I have I have other laptops that I've actually gotten used to now. You guys know how I felt about Windows laptops. Didn't, didn't really care for them at all after a while after using them for so long. So this laptop right here is a convertible, but there's some high points on this one that I really wanna to stress to you. This is one of the world's first Snapdragon based uh, processors in a laptop, one of them. Um, and it's called WOS, Windows on Snapdragon. It has a modified Snapdragon 845 in here, which is actually a Snapdragon 850 as listed. And it has the Adreno 630 for the processor and everything. But this has, and this has a fingerprint reader, stereo speakers, uh, LTE, it is touchscreen, it has pen support, and it's gonna have long battery. It's got a full 1080p display. Uh, it's got Windows Home S right now, but I'm pretty sure I can upgrade that for free. You know, they do that. Uh, again, 128 gigs of storage inside, not expandable, uh, but I, I have thumb drives that are USB, and um, there's a 256 gig model that's listed, but I've yet to see it anywhere. So you get two Type-C ports, a headphone jack, and a SIM tray. Uh, and uh, you also get Lenovo Vantage, but let's crack it up. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. It's actually really, really nice. Nice and thin and lightweight. Uh, so here's the laptop itself. Again, the ports are listed. It's a very thin, nice laptop, man. So we're gonna get to that. I just wanna show you real fast what's in the box and then I'm gonna, gonna crack it, get, get this thing fired up. So you get a SIM ejection tool here because this is an LTE device. Uh, it's listed for Verizon, but most people have said that they have used it on T-Mobile, AT&T. You get a Type-C charging brick and port here because it is a laptop. So let's get this thing fired up here and I wanna show you what I'm so excited about. So let's put all this aside. Now it's time to get to the laptop. So this is one beautiful piece of hardware. So right here, I've already again, I've already used this, uh, and I think it's just going to be great. Um, you've got a big shift key. If you don't remember my dealings with Lenovo, <laughs> I didn't like their shift key because it was a really small key, the si same size as this key. But here's the fingerprint reader. You've got um, a full number row up here. You've got a full size keyboard, big shift key, big inner key, big backspace key, which is important to me. I've tried the speakers uh, and they sound really, really good. They sound actually great actually. To be, the ports are so small. Um, but you can use this thing in tent mode, obviously, because it's convertible. You can use it like this. I like the Lenovo branding that is just right here, real subtle, real subtle branding. But you can watch movies like this on the plane or wherever. Uh, you can put it in tablet mode, obviously, because you, you have that uh, nice big 13 inch display. The 720p camera, I tested it, it's actually really good. Uh, so I'm gonna set this up uh, and then I'll be right back and I'll give you some more on this beautiful laptop. Let's get it powered on here. The power button actually lights up. Um, let's see if it's got some juice. Let's get it fired up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we are back. I've actually been using this thing for about two hours now. And I wanted to go ahead and give you a walk around of the official hardware and show you the fingerprint reader and everything. So on this side here, You've got your SIM tray, uh, type C right there. And then you've got, uh, this is a type C magnetic charger that I use because I have a, a breakaway charger. So there's a type C headphone in the power. The power button actually lights up. Um, and here's the nice hinge on this thing. Uh, it's really sleek. This is a very thin laptop. It's really nice. It's kind of got like a little overbite right here. Or it slants this way and like this because of that hinge. So when you open this up here, you'll just be in regular laptop mode. Now, if you wanna go into presentation mode, this is the great thing about uh, the C, which is convertible. You can put it in presentation mode and it just kind of rests on the keyboard like that. And you have this mode here. So if you want to go to tent mode, where you're gonna be watching some movies or something, you can just pop it up like this and you're good to go. And if you wanna go full all the way into tablet mode, 
you can. The screen will rotate any way you want it to go. Uh, and that is it. Now, this is a touch screen, so that is a huge plus. Uh, it's a very lightweight uh, laptop, and I that's one of the reasons why I wanted it. So you just put your finger down here, and it'll unlock and go straight into the computer, which is absolutely boss. I like that it has a fingerprint reader because I don't think this has Windows Hello. Uh, there's no mention of Windows Hello in here. It just kind of highlights the fingerprint reader, which is actually pretty sweet. So that's good enough for me. Uh, being able to put my finger down there is great. Now, I've actually been typing on this keyboard, like I said, for the last couple of hours. I've charged it up. I had it on the charger while I was using it. And the keyboard, I want to say, is absolutely great. It has a lot more travel and feedback than my uh, 5K iMacs keyboard, the Apple keyboard. And also on my MacBook Pro, this keyboard is much better than that one because it has a lot more travel and feedback, which is what I want. Now, this has stereo speakers. It has LTE. Uh, first, I want to show you the stereo speakers in here. And so I loaded up a video here. The screen is 1080p, but it will upscale to 4K if possible. But check out the stereo speakers here. I'm going to crank the volume all the way up to 100. And let's just look and listen. So to me, the speakers sound great in the right setting. It's gonna be, it's not gonna be the loudest set of speakers. Uh, I have phones that are louder than, than this set of speakers right here, but that's okay. Uh, for what it is, I'm not getting this so much for that much media consumption for loud noise or whatever. That's not, that's not what it's about. Um, it's just about having stereo speakers and it's better than not having stereo speakers. And that's a huge plus. So. Um, again, the screen itself is beautiful in my in my my thinking. I, I like how it looks. Um, so I want to get out of here and I'm gonna go down. So the touchscreen portion of it, I don't normally use touchscreens. My other laptops are touchscreen. I don't use it that much. But if I were gonna use it on here, I'd probably be a little annoyed at how annoyed at how wobbly the screen can be at times. Uh, just touching it is extremely wobbly, and that's probably one of the reasons why I just don't enjoy touch screens if they don't have a strong enough hinge. Now, this actually has a very strong hinge, but this top part is so thin, they could only do so much, and that's just what it is. Now, um, again, this does have LTE, so I was going to test out putting a SIM card in here, and um, I was wondering what would happen if I did. So I, I was just gonna grab one of my SIM cards. Now this isn't a uh, SIM card, just only data. This is actually just one of my T-Mobile SIM cards. I've heard that this thing actually is unlocked and, but it's touted that you should use it with Verizon because that's where you're gonna get the best service. So I just wanted to see what would happen if I put this in here. Let's see here. There we go. And it does take a nano SIM. So let's pop this nano SIM in here. And again, I'm not using a Verizon SIM card. I'm trying it with a T-Mobile just to see what will happen. This is just strictly experimental because some people might ask this in the comments and I want to have tried it myself because, well, I was going to try it anyway. Why, would, why wouldn't I try it? So I just put it in there and we're going to see if we get any kind of, let's go down here to connections. And I'm pretty sure I'd have to install some, uh, I'm clicking on, <laughs> I'm clicking on the sound. Oh gosh. Um, I probably have to go into settings and I uh, get this all set up. Let's close out of here and go into network. That's what I would need to do. So right now it's connected to Wi-Fi, and, and there is cellular. So let's turn off Wi-Fi and go strictly cellular, and it says T-Mobile LTE connected. Right at the top up there, you can see right there, it says T-Mobile LTE connected. So again, this is an LTE device, so let's see if I can actually surf the internet or anything. This isn't, and remember, this isn't a data SIM card. This is, well, it looks to be working. Uh, this is not a data SIM card. This is a SIM card from my cell phone, and 
it's just experimental. So I don't, I'm not going to tell you to go out and <laughs> start popping your SIM cards in. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's go to GSM Arena, not GMS. <laughs> All right, let's see what it does here. So I am able to surf the internet with my T-Mobile SIM card from one of my phones. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it would be something that you'd want to do like for try to keep it uh, in there all the time if you just take your SIM card out of your phone. But this could be a plus that you have. Now, in my house, the speeds are not very fast at all, uh, but they're about 40 or so, 60. Well, I guess that is kind of fast. But let me see if it wants to load that. And also, no, there we go. Uh, also, when you put a cell phone SIM card into a data device and it's not meant to be used that way, T-Mobile will recognize that and they will start offering you plans and stuff like that. Now, I like that this just goes straight in and I can just start using it with LTE uh, and just it just gives complete T-Mobile access. I think that's really, really cool uh, that it popped up like that. So that's something that I want to try. Looks like it's it's the system starting to recognize that I don't have like, like I'm not supposed to be using this uh like this. So I don't know. We'll come back to it. Anyway, so it's an LTE device uh and it should have great battery. I just want to give a, a quick walkthrough, kind of go over some things. I like it so far, man. Again, I've been using this for over two hours now, and I'm really enjoying it. I would suggest that when you first get this, if you plan on buying something like this, remember, this is a Snapdragon 850, so the battery life on here should be fantastic. I'm going to do some basic editing on here. I'll test the LTE in different parts of the house, and I'll, I'm going to travel with this, so that's going to be another thing also. So um, dongles and stuff like that. Now, this is only Type-C, right? So I have my Samsung uh 500 gig uh ssd right here uh and i'm gonna plug this in because you're gonna need some type c stuff so this will plug in and there is the drive it, it reads it nice and fine it'll pick it up i'll come here it'll appear in here and uh let's go this pc and there's my 500 gig drive so let's eject it or just pull it, no option to eject. It looks like I already see it. And now I have these little dongle setups like this that have external monitor sets up, SD card slots. You plug these in, I've already used this so I know it works, but you know, you just plug it in and then you put in whatever you wanna put in, any preferable, I can put in a mouse or something, I don't know, you just put in whatever you wanna put in and that'll help you there. So all in all, so far, uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this so far. I'll give you a follow-up video on it later. I really like the screen. I like the fingerprint reader. I think the speakers are decent. They're not the best. Um, I'll, I'll test the camera for you on the way out. Uh, it is a decent camera. It's, I've already tested it. <laughs> it's not the best. Uh, but, you know, it's something that, that I'm glad that it's there. So uh, it's your man, Jay Will. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing of my latest uh, gift to myself. Uh, I'll travel with this to see. Uh, so I think it's really cool that it has LTE. Isn't that cool? Uh, but you know, popping any SIM card in there, I, I love it. Uh, but you know, you have to do your own research. And uh, man, that's just a beautiful thing. T-Mobile LTE connected, and oh, it has hotspot too, because of my T-Mobile. Uh, but you have to do your own research and determine how you're going to use something or what you're going to use it for. And there'll be a lot of people that tell you this is overpriced. Uh, it starts at 730 on their website, but at Best Buy, it had dropped down to under seven for a long time because you can actually get this on a contract if, with Verizon if you wanted to. It's $7.99, on, I believe, on Best Buy's website. And let's go to it real fast here. Let's go to Best Buy. And surfing over T-Mobile's LTE is decent, man. I mean, um, I get forty to sixty down in my house, so yeah, I think this. The, I think this computer is just realizing, hey, you're not supposed to be using me, you know. So what are you doing? And <laughs> that's not a Verizon SIM card, you know. But it is working, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Wi-Fi just to speed this process up. There we go. We're connected to my five gigahertz Wi-Fi again. And now let's type in uh, Lenovo C630, not the Chromebook version, uh, the Yoga. And let's see what the pricing is on, on Best Buy. Because you're going to see that, okay, so it's now showing $699 with the contract. But I believe they're charging $800 for this. Uh, yeah, they're charging $800. Um, nope, 
It's on sale, looks like. No, no, no. Okay, one time activate today. Activate later. That's weird. Uh, yeah, that's kind of strange. Oh, it's 100 bucks off. Okay, I was about to say. Because I didn't pay 800 bucks for this. But 700 bucks. a lot of people are going to say that's too much. 800 to me is kind of steep. But if you consider all the different tablet modes out, tablet things out there, like I would suggest that you grab it directly from Lenovo. Um, but I'm an elite member of Best Buy, so I get huge discounts on things from all the shopping that I do. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that to me, this is really good. I just popped in my T-Mobile SIM card from my phone and I got full LTE service for data. It's using the data. Uh, and then I can install a, a phone app on here and make phone calls if I wanted to. Uh, but you're getting a, a lot to me for this price tag when you compare it to other things that are being sold. And like, I didn't want a snap together, like the keyboard thing. I didn't want that. I, I don't think that's, I don't like those really. This ships with eight gigs of DDR4. You know, not a lot of laptops and, and tablets do that. Uh, you know, it's got the fingerprint reader, the stereo speakers, the LTE. It's going to have good battery, folks. It's, it's going to have good battery because of that Snapdragon 850 right there. That's going to, that, you see the battery life is rated at 22 hours, but I'm pretty sure I can probably get much more than that. But battery life is, you know, dependent on the person. So, that's just what it is. You, you'll definitely get more than 10 hours for sure. Uh, that That is for certain because I haven't seen anybody reporting less than 20 hours or so. But again, everybody uses it differently. I definitely would recommend that you upgrade it to Windows Home officially and take off the S because you're going to be missing out. You won't be able to install a lot of apps. So that's just my thoughts on it. But um, there's other options out there that you could get uh, for this price point. But I wanted something that's thin, light, compact, and this is just the one for me right now. I have two other laptops, and they're both too big. And they also don't have LTE connectivity, and they don't have this battery life. They don't have a fingerprint reader. They both have stereo speakers, but the screen is beautiful. I'm just, I'm loving this, man. And I thought this was a great alternative to me going and spending 1600 bucks on another MacBook Pro or even... The MacBook Air, I didn't want to spend that 1300 bucks that it would have come to almost 1400 bucks. You compare those side by side, you do it yourself, and you see if it what's best for you. But it's your man, Jay Will. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care. All right, guys. So this is the front camera of the camera on the laptop. And this is what you could expect from this laptop if you decide to... Um, Go ahead and uh, use it for video conferences, and I think this is more than enough. And when you're on a when you're on a video conference or something like that, something for work or just basic chatting, this is more than enough.